Welcome to me too. My name's Marge. I'm a yoke empath, and I just like doing these little talks on the way I feel about things. Today I feel pretty good about stuff. I do. When I did a little laundry this morning. Love it when all the freaking clothes are fuzzy. Soft, warm, and cozy. I had uh, got a pair of sweats. They got a bin where people dump their stuff in, and I was like, I know it's like, man, I need a pair of sweats, a new pair of sweats. Kind of like those that bunch at the bottom and have zippers on the pick, you know. They're kind of D-bag sweats, but... Or people I recognize as D-bags wear them a lot. <laughs> like puffy coats. Uh, I used to be so pragmatic about, like, researching things that I like. And I remember when the puffy coats... They, I remember when people wore them in the 70s and 80s, and I was like, man, there's a lot of coat in there, you know. Then I remember their down coats, and then I was like, man, they got to herd a bunch of geese to make those things, you know. I'm sure it's not the same anywhere, because now it's 2019, and everybody cares about animals and other people. So, they don't do stuff like that anymore. But I just look around at the freaking puffy coats. Pe puffy coat people make my eye twitch, man. And the smaller the gauge, it's like the smaller the gauge of the puff, the more pretentious they are. Whatever. I don't care if people have puffy coats in their closet. It's just a tell for me. I pick up my tells. They're my tells, man. And people get mad at me for my tells. Like, I can talk trash about puffy coat people. If somebody watches, they're like, I got a puffy coat. Thumb down. Like, dude, this is my Akashic Record legend, you know? Don't you have, don't you have tells about people that you just, like, like every single person that you met that has a specific trait, you just don't like him? like them it doesn't matter all the other redeeming qualities they have but this one trait you know this one thing they do it's like ah tells you about people you know listen to your guts people welcome to the age of discernment listen to your own guts man if you hate if you can't stand somebody and everybody else likes them there's a reason for that the main stage mainstream dude Think about all the sameness in the in the main stage, in the mainstream. It's all the same. People all thinking the same thoughts, looking at the same things. And the bigger something is, it's like the lower their denominator is. Like NFL. Now they're letting that freaking scumbag Bic be a potential... I hate pro sports, but it's all ridiculous. You like it so much, go down and play it Sunday afternoon with your buddies without having to get paid millions of dollars for, what, 10, 20 games? Stupid. Any more and more of that mis misogynistic meatheadedness dying away. It can go as quick as it likes. Good old boys club. Good old boys. Never liked good old boys. <laughs> I always saw them for who they are. You know, I always worked in freaking these dudes that would freaking sit around all day and then go home and tell their wives how hard they worked. <laughs> they lie. And now it's showing out. I'm not saying this is every man in every paradigm. I'm saying the imbalance is evident these days. Because, I mean, look around at your first responders. Look at all the first responders that are freaking just not fitness ready. They're not ready for their task. Look at all the policemen that are freaking... Pushing pe and I'm not even talking physically. See, that's the thing. One of my tells is, if I see somebody that's 15, 30 pounds overweight, I'm really going to wonder, are they going to be able to calm themselves down in a stressful situation? They don't even have the discipline to go to a gym. They don't have the discipline to keep the spoon out of their mouth. They don't have the discipline to take care of themselves. How are they going to care about people in their direct environment? It brings their probability down. I'm not saying they're not gonna. I'm just saying it brings it down a lot. You know? It's a lot. Uh, ever, there's a lot of, I'm realizing I'm just hit 45 and I'm getting aches and pains that I never experienced before. Mom's just turned 69. She's like, this is new. You know? And she don't like it. You know? And it's like people are getting older and it's like, you know... They're not aging gracefully, and they're taking it out on the world kind of thing. They're, like, hanging on to their power, their control, their power. And some dudes can't even freaking be men without the feeling of being powerful and in control, you know. A lot of them need male enhancement drugs. How 
awful for you. You can't. And you know why they need them? Because they're in their own heads. They're in their own heads. Men are emasculated because they emasculate themselves. You know? What are they thinking about? I don't know. But, you know, just being a... <laughs> being a lesbian woman, I never had that problem. And frankly, to my knowledge... Neither of any of my partners have ever lacked and felt like they've been deprived or deficit of some sort of <laughs> social agreement that comes with physical relationships, you know. But considering the military spends like, I don't know, freaking, it was a, a god, all like 25 million in enhancement drugs and, you know, all this precedence on masculinity and oh, don't be mean to him. And it's like, dude. It's the imbalance. Women like sensitivity from what I understand. And it's when men have like gotten so into their masculinity and been void of their femininity. Because we are all masculine and feminine energy. So when they just try to avoid it, this is the world we get. We get all these made up military conflicts. You know, send hundreds of people, thousands of people over here. Blow this up and blow this up. It's like, why? What are those people doing to us directly? Nothing. It's all a big chess game for old white dudes so they can get rich. So instead of having headstones in VA freaking Arlington, they should have plastic chess pieces like pawns. And then the higher rank up they go, you know, like the, they, can, they can be the kings and the rooks. And, and whatnot, because that's all it is, you know, it's all it is, it's, you know, you played some risk when you were a kid, got an idea stuck in your head, and then freaking people got a little out of control, then they, so they created militaries, and like, well, people can only, only, you know, can retire after 20, 25 years, so, uh, what we got now is, is a whole bunch of freaking people that were in de Desert Storm and stuff like that, and got to go over and freaking mutilate, kill people, and then I Operation Iraqi Bullcrap, and they got to freaking harm and mutilate and freaking kill civilians, you know, and get their jollies and rocks off, and that twisted sadistic way, just like that Navy SEAL that got off, got off, scumbag, little tiny dude, with tiny little hands, you can have all the muscles, muscles you want, your little tiny hands, or you're a tiny man, so, but they try and be as big as they get, you know, might is right, and all that, and all that stuff is tearing down because all those old dudes are dying and freaking all the people, kids that are coming up now just want to, don't want to, you know, and they're freak the kids, 16, 17, 18 hundreds of kids dying in Iraq because they freaking spiked the gas up 50%. People can't pay for it, you know, but all the, but all the rich people at top are like, oh, well, there's no problem. Just get another job. <laughs> and us people that are trying to, you know, take care of our families and stuff like that is just like, they're shorting out because... There's, it's just, it's insanity. So all, this is what this ne whole next year is going to be, all this stuff breaking down. It's not going to be pretty. It's not, because for stuff to break down, it's stu stuff happens, gross stuff, nasty stuff. People are going to see a bunch of stuff they don't want to see, you know? Yeah. That's what people get for not reporting. I always reported. See, none of the way the world is is, is freaking on my shoulders because I have always called bullcrap. And the people that have shut me up are freaking the cause of the greatest detriment of this society now. And they're all being found out for who they are. Other people like me, you know, we've been speaking our truth our whole entire life. And I think it's real cute that this little generation comes that you read a book, you get a crystal, you know. What are you, 20, 30, you know. What I like to know, it's all about experience. It's all about so let's let's talk life experiences and the experiences that we've had in life and all these doctors come up they go to school six eight years you know read a bunch of books about how people think well guess what I'm one of the people that have gone through a lot of these things and aside from not being where I want to be geography you know and income wise well that's just because the rest of the world hasn't recognized what I have to offer has nothing to do with the fact of what I know I'm capable of. So, the world is slow. It's, uh, it's evident.
there's a lot of people waking up to nonsense just what they've always believed isn't true and whatever course direction the path that takes them as long as people are not taking other realities as their own that's all I care about I don't care if people listen to what I have to say I don't care if people believe me you know we're all energy and just as much as men have been imbalanced, freaking women have been imbalanced and over dipping in their masculinity too. And then we have the Giselles and the sick and the twisted and the nasty, you know. All I, all I do is I read people's energy. And that low vibrational stuff, I can feel it. I pick up on it. I can teach other people how to trust themselves and they're knowing to pick up on it too, you know. Maybe if people stop working with these scumbags... It'll freaking take some of the power that they have, you know. I don't. It's not like I ever see a world where they're not gonna, have, you know, people aren't gonna endorse some billion-dollar bullcrap companies, you know. I'd like to see them not, but I don't know if I'm gonna see it in my lifetime. Anyway, just well, I my biggest rec. Well, I also recommend I'm to get quiet, meditate. Start to meditate. Plug into your source. Plug. That's to me is my higher power, goddess. She knows all the answers, you know. So I just got to do about a 15-minute meditate state, and, um, and uh, it's hard. I think that's one of the hardest things about getting zen and and and, and plugging into that bliss because I have such an extreme spectrum, and my nerves are freaking a little short, you know. I'm a little jumpy. I've had cause to be. People have done some pretty crappy things to me just because it was their job. Or it's just because they, f you know, and with the reality, I was just doing my job. The reality of that is who's in charge and how they feel that day. And that's what, <laughs> those are all the truths that are being revealed. So, well, it's going to be painstaking. But if you get your zen, man, if people can find their paws and their pause and ease that when you get out there and you come wrong with some nonsense just if you could draw on that then maybe you'll get through whatever situation you're going to come into you know with the clearer head whether you're stranded on the side of the interstate for 24 hours or you know whatever the situation is because there's just been too many people on this planet that haven't had a life and experience a lot of life experience and us that have it's like it's going to switch you guys are going to get your chance to get enjoy the the lower parts of this this world and some of us lo the people that have been struggling for the last several years we're gonna get an opportunity to, to feel the higher vibes so uh, that's all i got for now hope you have a rad evening peace